Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though the end, what, what is, what is, what is tearing? You know, that that uh, that we believed at one point in time, well, it was tearing the end of of Esau's age, man, the end of his world. That's talked about in Second Edris six and nine, man. Esau's the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, the end of his age is on its way, and a new beginning, a new age of Jacob, is on its way, man. To rule in the earth. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. What? The prophecies, man. They shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. The Lord said, hey, the prophecies will surely come to pass, man. Though it seems in your mind, in your, in your point of view, you know. How, and, and how you look up at the world around you, man. You would perceive it to be tearing sometimes, you know, some days, man. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, it'll be on your spirit and your mind. Like, man, Lord, when when you going to come, man? When you going to hurry up and, and put this man out of his rulership, you know? And it is, it's okay to think like that sometimes, man. It's not, it's not sinful to think like that, you know? It's just, you know, <laughs> us complaining to the Lord, you know, that's it's what Job did, man. You know, and guess you just continue to have to be patient. But, you know, at at the time what we're seeing right now, bros, man, man, prophecy is is yelling, bro. It's yelling. And we seeing these things in the earth that at a high scale like we've never seen them before. All right. This 2020 has indeed, indeed, indeed been a year of prophecy, man. And it's it's only going to escalate from here on out. These riots, these thing a hey, it's going it's going to get it's going to get worse before it gets better. But these riots and things like that, these people going crazy, well that's what Esau wants y'all to do, man. And ultimately the heavenly father controls Esau. But that's what he wants y'all to do so he can have a reason, more of a reason to take away y'all rights and make this country a police state, man. So you, you won't have any rights. You will be told what to do. This is this is finna turn into a dictatorship, man. All right. You people not going to have any more rights because y'all out, out there acting stupid, man. And that's the, that's the Lord putting those type of spirits on people to do these things in the earth. And that's prophecy. That's second edges. What we were witnessing now is the second edges 15th chapter, man. You know, he uh, Esau put out this COVID-19 shit just to see what the reaction he would get from the people. That's not the reaction he wanted. He tried the murder wall thing. That's well. That's not the reaction he wanted. Well, the Lord actually sent those, those uh, hornets over here. That didn't rile up the people. Now with all this, this past killings of Jakes, you know, of, uh, by Jakes I mean Israelites, and you Israelites are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, with these past killings of uh, Negroes, you know, in the streets by cops. With this last one. Of, of of this George Floyd dude. Hey, Esau's pushing the narrative. He's setting up his own uh provocators, you know, within these riots to set up these things, putting bricks on the sides of roads to where they know protesters gonna come so it can get violent. Another um, setting up more reasons and it's, it's more snares upon our people to get violent with Esau, man. And that's the last thing you want to do is to get violent with Esau. Because the Lord gave him the blessing of uh of the sword, man, of his technology. And you can't go up against Esau carnally. Oh, you have to, hey, we gotta wait on the Lord to come back to get carnal with Esau. Because only the Lord can take us up out of this situation, man. <clears throat> 
Isaiah 10 and 22. Um, that's slacky. Con, let me get uh, 21. The remnant shall return even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power. For though thy people Israel be as the sands of the sea, all right, and with this verse alone, that proves that we are the majority in the earth, man. Yet a remnant of them shall return. That's talking about that one-third and that two-third right there, man. Talked about in Zechariah 13 and 8. All right, yet a remnant of them shall return. Israel being as the sands of the sea, that's all of Israel. And that remnant right, talk, uh, talking right there, that's a division with between our people, man. It's going to be a righteous seed that's going to be saved. And it's going to be a wicked seed of our people that's going to be destroyed, man. Yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness, man. That, that one third shall overflow with righteous, righteousness. Okay. Let's get my next precept. Let me see what was it. Uh, Daniel. Um, okay, there it is. This is Daniel 12 and 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they shall, that's lucky, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars for heaven, stars forever and ever. That's right. That's talking about the elect of the elect of the nation of Israel, that 144,000, man. We, we going to turn our people, the one third of our people, that righteous seed from wickedness that they're currently in, man. And like the other apostle been saying, we believe the elect is, is, is sealed, man. You know? And every time the other apostle to heart ends up saying something, it ends up really coming to pass more often than not. And with him naming this year the year of prophecy, a hey, prophecy has been hitting hitting hard, man. Nonstop. And we and we still got was was it uh was it May thirty first, I believe, today? If I'm not mistaken, we still hey, we still got six more months left in this in this year, man. Lord could turn this up within weeks, man. You know we are already seeing Second Edges 15th chapter, man. Soon it's gonna uh it's gonna get all the way down to that was that 17th verse, where people are not gonna be are not gonna be able to go into um into the next city, man, because it's gonna be blockade off, due due to martial law. Because of the things that y'all out there doing in the streets right now, you you you, you Israelites, man. Hey, but that's that's how the heavenly Father has wrote His movie. All these things that's happening on Earth were meant to happen. But those people out there, they're gonna die, man. Now, 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 you would ask yourself, well, what, what can I do to escape this judgment that the Lord is bringing upon the Earth, man? Listen to His men that He has set up upon the Earth. Out of the nation of Israel that's speaking this 100% truth of the scriptures, man. And come back to Yahweh by Shimei Shai and put off the, the, the idols that you currently worship. Put off Jesus Christ. Put off the only, uh, put off, uh, Buddha, man. Put off being an atheist. Put off being a Muslim. Put those religions off, man, because all religions are false. But the heritage and the truth of these scriptures, man, the heritage of being a Hebrew Israelite. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And the ones in the scattered sea Israelites, the ones that look like the other nations, but are, they believe to do believe to be, you know, Israelites on the inside, man. If you if you if you if you if you uh if you uh accept his word, you're more than likely an Israelite, you know. No matter how look how much you look like a a, a so-called white man, a Chinese, a Japanese man, man. It don't matter. Skin color doesn't matter in this truth, man. The Heavenly Father looks on the inward man, not the outward. This is uh, John 21 
and 17. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, feed my sheep. All right. If 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 we proclaim to love the Lord, you know, for us men that preach His word, man, this then then, then then this is then that's the way we love the Lord, you know. If we say we love the Lord so much, then we we should be preaching unto the sheep. And who is the Lord's sheep? That's talking about the one third that remnant, man, out of the nation of Israel, out of that that righteous seed, that righteous seed line. And if it wasn't for the elect of the nation of Israel, Israel would have been done away with a long time ago, man. So as it, 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 if we love the Lord so much, then we should be doing the work and pushing this truth with all sincerity, man. Trying to wake up the the uh, the remnant of our people so we can get the hell up out of here, man. That's the that's in truly the main goal. Luke 14 and 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. All right. Talking going into the elect, man. Go out there on the highways and hedges, man. And by ways to, to compel our people to come in and listen and learn of the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Learn their ways. Put off the old ways that you were in the world, man. And come into the house of the Lord, man, so you can be saved. All right. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bitten, which were called, shall taste of my supper. And there went great multitudes with with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yet his own life also, he could not be my disciple. That means, that only really means to put Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah first, man, above all those things he just mentioned. All right, that don't just mean just put them away and do nothing and, and, and do nothing with them. All right. Now, that doesn't mean that. It just means putting the Lord first above, above everyone else on the earth, man. All right, and following him. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you intend to build a to build a tower, sitteth not down first, and counteth the cost, whether he has suffice, sufficient to finish it. All right. Least happily after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. All right. If you're not able to, you're not able to keep this. You're not able to uh, go into the fallouts, man. What, what was the point of, of of you coming into this thing if you know you couldn't finish it? If you and if you got that mindset, man, you need then the the hey, then be gone with you, man. Then at that time, the Lord's gonna say He did not know you, and that's hey, man. That's gonna hey, that's gonna hurt a lot of dudes' hearts, man. When the Lord tell them that, man. And it's gonna be their own fault. He didn't. Hey, that, that's that go. Hey, that person didn't count the cost, man. This. Hey, when you come to serve the Lord, hey, prepare your prepare yourself for temptation. All right, this ain't gonna. This ain't no easy walk. Lord didn't never told you it was gonna be easy. Lord told you it was gonna be a difficult difficult path. This is the narrow path. All right. With water and fire on the east side, hey, that's the uh, that's that's that straight gate. But you, hey, it's better that you walk through that straight gate than the Broadway, cause the Broadway what leads to destruction. Now, uh, now when you, hey, you putting your hand off the plow, man, hey, the Lord said He gonna utterly destroy those spirit, man, bro. And they say what? Not worthy to be His disciple, man. Least happily after He has laid the foundation. 
and is not able to finish it, all that behold it, begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish? Or what king going to make war against another king, sit us not down first, and consulted whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that com cometh against him with 20,000? Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sent an, a, an ambassador and desireth conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. All right. Forsake all that you have and, and put the Lord first, man. You know, of course, we know we still got to work into this society and within this society to a certain degree, you know. Once that B system gets pushed, that RFID microchip gets pushed mandatory upon the people, you better not take this shit, man. You better move around. You better do something. You better go to the wilderness if you if the Lord presents you with that option. You know, you get you get snatched up. You get thrown into a FEMA camp. That's your that's your lot, man. You better keep your hey, you better keep your garment. All right, keep your mind intact with everything that you've learned from His men, bro. All right, because his man is of him. We speak the words of you. How about Shimmy How Shy? And if we was not, if, and if a preacher was not sent to you, how would you have heard, man? Thirty three. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Salt is good, but what if the salt have lost his savor? What with it shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. That he that have ears to hear, let him hear. You know, useless. That goes that goes into a lot of our people, man. Useless. Two thirds of our people, the heavenly Father sees them as being useless, and He has no use for them. But this is going right back into that Matthew's 22nd chapter, man. When he told them in the uh, 23rd verse, going to the highways and hedges, Matthew 22nd chapter goes into bidding to that marriage, man. Why? Because the nation of Israel is likened unto a woman, unto the Most High. You know, there's a, 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 a misconception in the world, you know, to where they people believe that why the Heavenly Father don't have a wife. Well, he, Heavenly Father does have a wife, man. He ain't got no 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 woman in the heavens on his level that's sitting next to him on the throne. No. The Heavenly Father has a, a spiritual woman, man. And physical, if you want to say that as well. And that's the nation of Israel, man. His people. They made covenants with him, man. They made agreements. So they, hey, we have to follow those those laws, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father had bestowed upon us, man. And since then, we have been likened unto a woman in marriage with the Most High, man. And the, and and His Son, Yahweh Shai, the intercessor, man, the mediator, has brought us back into that into that marriage, man, because we went a horn off. And through the law, you're not supposed to take back a a a, a woman. That you put off or a woman that went a horn, man. Which goes to show you that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashimi Shai, and his son, man, is above the law, man. Alright? The Heavenly Father does whatever he wants, okay? Just to put that out there. Um Isaiah 54 and 6 to prove that. And got in this in this in this within this precept alone proves that the heavenly father truly don't give a shit about no other nation on the earth except for the nation of Israel, man. Isaiah 54 and 6. For the Lord Yahweh hath called thee as a woman. Oh, it's like him. 54 and 5. For thy maker is thine husband. The Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name. And the thy redeemer, the holy one of Israel. The, the most, the power of the whole earth shall he be called, man. All right. That's a, hey, that's talking about the heavenly father, man. Yahweh. 
That's that. Hey, that's our husband, and, 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 and we're his women. Oh, it's like his woman, man. So we have to do everything that our husband tells us to do, man. As it is supposed to be on the earth to this day, man. The husband is above the woman. But in, in this society, the woman is put above the man. But as you see in, in today's society, what now was happening in the earth, all that stuff is crumbling before your eyes, man. Like Ezekiel. Nine and four. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, the people, the nation of Israel. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That's talking about the prophets. All right. Nine hundred and forty four thousand man. OK. We said in the, we say well, that Mark is talking about that the uh, Tawa, Mark of exemption from judgment, man. And the ones that we bring in, in onto righteousness, like John 21 and 17 said, that great multitude of our people that one third, all right, they're going to be presented with that Tawa as well, man. Fifth verse, and to the others he said, in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. This is this is this is for the two thirds of our people, man. But guess what? Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark that thou why. Don't touch the old, no men. Or women or children that has this mark of exemption upon their foreheads, man. Within their minds, okay. And begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Alright. That's that's how you you will get saved about this coming destruction, man. Because the Thinking that you really that that you getting your head duck, ducked in some water in in a Sunday Harlot house, you're not saved, man. You I don't I don't even understand how you people would even think that, man. You really you just got demons on you, but you know y'all people are out your damn minds, man. Thinking that you saved, hey, you're not saved until you on them ships, man. Hey, but I, I would I through all that being slain. Like Ezekiel 9 just, just mentioned, hey, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be good, man. We're going to be well in that day. Nothing's going to touch us, man. Of course, there shall be men that's going to die for this truth, but they're going to be good with the Most High, man. This is Romans 8, and I'm ended out on this. What shall we then say to these, these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? That's right, man. Hey, if, if the most high be for us, who can be against us? Hey, Psalms 91 is a good, you know, good account to go right into this precept with. He that, he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Delivered us for us, delivered him up for us all. I mean, all of Israel, man. Who shall lay anything to the charge of the God's elect? It is it is the most high that's, that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Hamashiach that died. Yeah, rather that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of the most high? Who also maketh intercession for us, man? That's right. Who prays for his elect? That's what Yahweh Shah does. He prays for his elect. All right. And Yahweh Shah's prayers will be heard, man. He's that priest. Malak Tazadak, man. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness 
or peril or sword, the things that's coming upon this earth, man. All the things soon to come upon this earth going to separate us from the love of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. And of the love of Yahweh? No. The elect is going to see it through the end no matter what. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors. Through him that loved us. Hey, we're going to keep that. Hey, the elect of the nation of Israel going to keep that faith, man. Because we're going to remember on your how about how shot, man. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, man. Nothing is going to separate the elect from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Lord willing, you know, for the ones that truly believe in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and that's 100% sincere about this thing, man. Lord will you know we we keep it and we be saved and, and have and, and receive mercy from the hands of the Lord, man. Because that's what our nation needs more than anything, man, is mercy. You know, the elect anyway. Well, all the nations, all of the whole nation of Israel are going to receive mercy. Even the death, it, those two thirds of our people are going to receive death. That's the best mercy for them, man, because they too far gone out of their minds. They can't be changed, man. Ultimately, if the Lord wanted to change them, he could. But he wants them to, to pay for the sins that they did in their past lives, man. One, the one third, we have sins in our past too, but we going we gonna to get receive that mercy, man, for at least trying on this side. All right? Putting forth an effort for you. How about you? How about But that's all I really had, Ike. Lord will, that was edifying. With that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honor to my elder apostle, great millstone, rule well and teach well. Citation, rest you bros, pushing this truth for city, rest your life, do so in spirit by Yahweh, by Shemiah Shai. I don't believe I said that uh, at the beginning, Salakia, so I'm going to reset it again. Ka'alam, la'ala, ha'na, Yahweh, by Shemiah Shai, by Shemiah Shalom.